Uh, my name is Filippo Oliveira. I'm Portuguese. I work for Aquaflora. I'm in uh, aquascaping for about 25 years, more or less. Uh, more or less here. Uh, we get age, so uh, before it was 20, 20, it's like my age. Uh, w when we do 40, then it's 40, 40, 40, till we get 45, and then we get 45, it's 45, 45, till 50. So I don't know <laughs> exactly. I know that uh, I won the 10th place and so many around 2005, 2006, 7, 8, and then became judge of... Uh, some of the other contests and um, of course I became professionally uh, aquascaper um, probably 15 years ago but uh, what I mean professional aquascaper we just don't survive by doing only aquascaping because we cannot be aquascaping every single day of course I have used the multimedia I have used also social media and there is another kind of jobs that I'm doing directly or mainly for aquaflora the aquascaping is one of them, uh, like the activities. The last one I had was here, one year ago. I am lying because I was here yesterday. So, But it's just for you have in mind, COVID affected uh, all of us. Somehow, that in the moment, was not possible to have anybody attending a workshop in the shop, or even unless it was in the garden. But even with all the restrictions, and um, depending on each country, was always a big problem, so we couldn't even travel. So I really hope that things get back to normal and we can get more activities like this. So a big thank you in my name and behalf of the Aquaflora for the Wazi Aquarium for doing this uh, amazing event. So let's get started. I will use the, some reused one from, not reuse it. It's the open bag from yesterday. I, ah, here are the, the root tops. So I will just lay down the root tabs down. I will try to find them in the other bags too. Even if I intend to use sand afterwards, I don't think I will, but if I intend to use sand, what I usually do, the first layer, I will move it down backwards. Because if I use the sand, if you guys follow my work, I will always place the sand at last. Because I don't want the sand be with some soil over it, okay? Unless you want to make a small division with a small garden or whatever, so you can already place the sand, you put the soil, you take the division from the middle, it will be okay. But even that, uh, in a very natural um, looking, I prefer to use the soil. And then I will put all the sand on the top, on the front of a glass, like this. So with the brush, I will take towards the back. So it means the sand will start covering, even if it is a big slope over here that will cover and in the front will be a very thin layer, okay? Okay, so let's start to build. I was looking for this. Okay, the first thing we usually do when we work with artscape, doesn't matter if it's rocks, doesn't matter if it's wood, wooden rocks, we need to have a focal point. And uh, if you want, we can always play with the rule of thirds. If you don't go, go follow the rule of thirds, because probably some plant will do that, but we need to start from something that will probably will be the focal point. 
or maybe not, but you need to place the first one. Now the first one usually is the most important because all the flow, the hardscape will come from the first one. So I had one here. Let's see if I don't make any damage. <laughs> so. Aquascaping all good for the back. Mm. One of the big secrets in aquascaping, when we do something, is all working with the length and height of the tank. Keeping the things in proportion. For example, if I grab this rock, if I put it there, do you think this rock is high enough to stay in balance in the tank? That one probably is too big. Probably. But I didn't have any soil yet. And the idea is just to bring something because the water level will be here. You see, we have the volume. So if you have the plants coming like this, yeah. maybe it makes sense. <laughs> right? Okay, so let's go. Oh, we'll just turn it a little bit. Can we get another one? Yeah. That one. The, that one. Yeah. Thank you. This rock will be here, but in the end will disappear. Because I want just something to hold the rock in position. Later on, I will use a little bit more rocks. I will get a little bit more soil, raise the level of it so we can get everything in proportion. But most important now is to be sure the rock doesn't go anywhere. Okay. <clears throat> Look to the extractor right now. We had just one big rock and suddenly just all these details. We have just a small path over here. We start getting something. So we already have some uh, path. We just increase a little bit here, a little bit more rocks. We're working in a triangular shape so far. Doesn't mean I'm not going to heavy shape anyway, okay? Touching the glass is not good. But since it doesn't move, we are still okay. But a tank without a scratch is not a tank. No, it's not scratch. Oh. A lot of people use artscape in touch of the glass. Uh, usually I avoid it to be easy to clean. But like a wise man once said, I'm not the one doing the maintenance, so get the brush for the final details. If we need to move a little bit the, the rocks, it's now the time. So why we do the slope? Because everything it says so flat, 
if we use more or less the same size, we don't see what is behind. So we increase the slope like this towards the back to give depth. So even if you use small plants, they will all be visible. Okay. I am almost done with the artscape. So now it's just time. And a good advice for all of you, when you scape something at home, just take one, two days to look to it, if it is perfect. If you don't change anything, if you really like how it is. If you're going to change, that is the moment. Because otherwise, after you plant, it'll be very difficult to start taking things from the, the tank. Okay? This is the better way. Okay, I have here Cuba, Monte Carlo, e Cryptocorin Parva. Then I have there Yunkus Repens, Heliocaris Acicularis. I have here, if my memory is still good, Liliopsis Brasiliensis or Liliopsis Nova Zelande. I have Rotala Orange, Rotala Orange Juice, uh, Orange Juice, Rotala Rotundifolia H. Ara, e Bacopa Morneri. So, Bacopa Morneri will give some very compact growth, similar to Rotala Green, but instead with more rounded shape. Some edges will look nice because you can trim will be slight green on it. Okay? So, let's get start. Let's go with the Monte Carlo. So, what I usually do to prepare the plants, I grab it, take the rock wool, put my hands all above the rock wool, I take it off. So, here, what I do, I split it in a few parts, and just start placing in the tank. Uh, now I am planting Emianthus Cuba, Emianthus calitricoides Cuba. And I am planting uh, after Monte Carlo because it's smaller. So I intend to keep small plants, even if I had air grass. But this one tends to spread over here and over there. In the end, after small and a few trimmings, they will try to plant somehow. But this one is a little bit uh, bigger than this one. Okay. This one is Cryptocorin Parva. I put it more under the shadow because this one tends to grow very, very slowly. Not so high demanding. And now I will get Heliocaris, Acicularis, and that one will go with sm some details over here and mostly on the sides. But I will mix it up, okay? Then for the front, I will use Liliopsis. And why Liliopsis? Because um, Heliocaris, usually, when you trim, afterwards, they tend to grow tall again. Liliopsis, after trim, they stay very, very short. And it's thick, dark green, and will start growing also, and mix it up a little bit over here. But the idea is, more or less, this shape and smaller. But after trimming, okay? You should use some quantity, okay? The more you can, the better. In case you can't use a lot of plants in the beginning because you don't have any chance to plant densely, at least use some floating plants because floating plants will take a lot of those nutrients, will give some shadow and somehow they will balance the water. Okay? If not, we can get really problems afterwards because in general plants will get algae uh, because there is a lot of nutrients in the water, unless you do water change almost every day. But that, even for the tank, is not good. You cannot keep that balance. Go, let's go with the Bacopa, Bacopa Monieri. Usually to take care of that, if you want to keep the roots, maybe it will take a little bit. You can just make small bunches of it. I will plant it like this. Some people just plant or put it on the soil just a little bit. I am the kind of guy that uh, all in. <laughs> In the transport and everything will be much easier, okay? 
Otherwise, if you move a little bit the water, what will happen is uh, they will start to float. What I usually do, I give a distance more or less from three stems, three, five centimeters, so they can have space when they start to grow and open. Otherwise, it will be too close. Somehow it's not bad because they will get a lot of volume, but there is no um, flow underneath and some can root, okay? A little bit more green. Now we want to give some green over here, okay? Touching and then mix it up the colors over here. I will do the same, a little bit of green over here. Green over here and then mix colors, okay? When I mean mix colors, I, I mean uh, I will mix it up the rutalas, okay? I just changed the, the concept because this was not really what was in mind on the beginning. I was going for a Yagumi, a classic Yagumi. And then suddenly I changed for a Nature Aquarium. And in the end, we'll end up more or less with the Brazilian style. So oh, the only thing that the Brazilian style has is uh, sand in the front. They use it a lot. But I will not go into use it here. I still have the time. I just take the soil out. And then I can simply put some um, sand over. It's also a choice, but it's better not to it. We full planted. it. I think being the cabinet completely white, the rocks and everything, uh, having a carpet on this tank will look amazing. And nowadays we don't see it so much because we only see sand, 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 sand. Having a really nice carpet, well trimmed, will make a huge impact and uh, will be very beautiful to see. Okay. So let's go for a little Iopsis now. I already planted the um, Yunkus repens. I put it in between the Rotalas. So for those that follow my work, usually I put some Yunkus because it's like wild grass, it comes like a wabi-zabi style. Something is getting out or pumping out from a very trimmed part of plants. And now let's go for the carpet. You see, for the shape, it, between the cryptocorin and the Liopsis are more or less the same. But later on the cryptocorin will become taller than Liliopsis. Since I, I like to use a very thin layer, one thing that I can do, in case I, cannot, I can't plant to the front, I plant densely on the back and let them spray over to the front and it's done. We don't need to plant close to the glass. Let the plant grow and get there. Let's move to this side now a little bit. So we have that side fully planted and there's nothing yet. Just basic rules, just relax. A tank or, or this is a hobby, okay? Being a hobby, you just have this to relax, to enjoy. When it becomes a stress, probably is, it is the wrong hobby for you. I, I, my last job was very stressful. Uh, I was working as ET manager in the subway of Porto and uh, it was a very stressful job. And I went to aquascaping so many years ago for relaxing and having fun. And I uh, always loved part of the um, decoration, aesthetics. Um, aquascaping for me was uh, a therapy. I really loved that and it calmed down. I just wanted to get home, look to the tank, relax, stream, put my hands inside of the tank. But of course, uh, as every, everybody that is starting, we tend to put our hands too much inside of a tank. And most of the time, we just need to let it breathe, let it follow. Nature doesn't want, like to be rushed. So you need to let it, the things flow normally. 
people get a little bit of algae, they panic. Algae is just a symptom that something is not right. So you need to fix what it is. Sometimes it's very easy. Most of the algae are morally or more or less related with the CO2, uh, with the maintenance, with the filter. Uh, so if you have the proper flow, uh, you have the CO2 set properly, you do the maintenance uh, as it should be on the right time, uh, you clean the hose, you clean the, the reactor or the diffuser, so everything will be perfect once again. But uh, the problem is we forgot some, most of the time of those tiny things. We just look to the water change, the clean the filter, but most of the time we forgot about the hose. So we are using now the small Anubias just to fill those small cracks and gaps just to disguise. We can use the cracks just to fit the plant there, but uh, just to show how, how, it, how it's done, I will just place there, like this. Okay. Yep. So we have some nice hole here. <coughs> I forgot to, to trim the roots, but anyway. No moss then. Okay. Sorry. I can see if I'm. Oh, okay. And I can place those plants here because they don't need that much light. Okay. And my friends, this is the last one, okay? It was a pleasure to be here. I hope you have enjoyed it. And uh, if you still have any other question, please do it. If you want to come around, check it with your eyes. It's done. It was a pleasure. I hope you have enjoyed it. And see you next time, okay? Yeah.